Hello everyone. So I have put so many videos and I spoke a lot about you regarding how to do a proper dressing. This video is something different. I am going to show you what you should not do in a dressing. One such patient, uh, our patient who have done a dressing outside, the problem with this dressing, I am going to show you, they have used cotton as a primary dressing. So, we don't know whether this is a sterile cotton or unsterile cotton and one more thing, this cotton is not ideal for a primary dressing. Why? Because no cotton sticks over the wound surface and it is very difficult to remove all the cotton particles out of the wound. We need to soak with saline and give a thorough wash to remove all the cotton particles. And one more thing, the stick out uh, cotton particles continue to be a source of infection also. And it dries out uh, with a wound and sticks to the wound and if you remove that one, sometimes it causes pain as well as bleeding also. So we should not use cotton. Many of the um, centers at the peripheral level, they use cotton directly over the wound site and that is not a correct way of dressing. That is what I am going to, I am emphasizing in this video. And more than that, uh, the patient side also, the care for the foot is not proper. If you see this one, it is all dried out. They, uh, they have to apply a proper moisturizer and uh, scratch mask because of these scratch marks itching sensation they are getting uh, abrasions and the ulcer here and there if you see the bilateral foot both are very dry and uh, the foot care is not also uh, is also not that much adequate and uh, the dressing is also not proper so please avoid doing a uh, dressing where cotton you use as a primary dressing it is not uh, it is not uh, advisable to use a cotton as a primary dressing. Instead of that, you use sterile gauze valves that is available everywhere. So that is what uh, this video tells all about. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See you.